my laboratory is called the Polymer Nanocomposites Laboratory. So everything we do is polymers and nanocomposite related. Uh, the process we saw today was um, an anti-flammable technology that's based on inorganic clay platelets mixed with polymers and to make a very thin nano coating on both foam and fabric and we showed the layer by layer deposition process that we used and this process deposits coatings onto fibers or the walls of a open celled foam and that is on the order of anywhere from 10 to a couple of hundred nanometers so everything is below one micrometer in thickness so in most cases the coating is completely transparent you don't know it's on the fabric or the foam, therefore the foam stays flexible, the fabric stays soft. It just imparts anti-flammable behavior instead of taking anything away. So right now we're envisioning a number of applications. We've got interest from the Army, we've got interest from a bedding manufacturer. Additionally, clothing in general needs to be less flammable. We, keep, we hear stories every year about um, children being burned or even laboratory workers being burned because something spills on them in the laboratory and they don't even have time to get to a safety shower. So this issue of the flammability being reduced definitely for clothing, furnishings, what they call soft furnishings for um, beds, for furniture, you know, all of your furniture, most of it has at least has fabric on it and that fabric, if someone drops a cigarette or uh, in, in some other way it catches fire, that often leads to the whole house burning down, but once again, if you had anti-flammable fabric, it would dramatically reduce property loss. That's, so that's a major issue. Uh, and then insulating foam for commercial buildings is another big application for this technology. And so we've got interest from Fortune 500 companies that work in the polyurethane foam industry that very much want to have this technology.